Thank you very much. Mr Kelly, you have the floor. I'm not sure is there an interpretive uh, service available or not, but um, I was at Cult where there were four Irish ministers and now we have two more, so we're taking over the place. But I would like to welcome my two colleagues, uh, two extremely efficient, dedicated ministers, and I think you can see from their presentations that they know what they're about. Just briefly in relation to uh, uh, Minister Bruton, I think he very wisely highlighted the need to reduce the regulatory burden on SMEs. Now that is something that we are always talking about, but often we do not actually implement. We go and do the opposite. We introduce legislation that is actually more burdensome on SMEs. And if I may just highlight an area where I am involved in myself, in the data protection. I am the rapporteur for this committee on that, and it has been shown quite clearly from impact assessments and even two briefings we had this morning before 8 o'clock at breakfast and at lunchtime, that if we were to implement the proposals as they are, that would actually lead to greater uh, regulatory burden on SMEs. So any help he can give in that regard, I know it's a matter for Mr. Shatter primarily, but any help he can give in that regard or any other regard to bring to reality what we are always preaching about, but don't always maybe bring into effect uh, in regards to SMEs is most welcome, and he would have the full support of, I think, the entire committee on that. Also, Thank you, and I now come to my last speaker on my list, Mrs. Anders' daughter. Thank you, Chair. Um, the SMEs that presented a on the data protection regulation this morning at the breakfast meetings uh, were FENCA, who represent such small companies as, for instance, AIG, a very large American um, insurance company. Uh, also, the impact assessment says that the protections offered by a strong and preemptive law on data protection in Europe is viewed by many of the SMEs and EU-based firms as offering a stable legislative framework which gives certainty to industry and defines rules and levels the playing field. Um, I have previously already spoken on data, the data protection regulation twice today uh, in the committee, so I will not speak so much on it, but I would urge the Irish Presidency to consider very carefully exactly what they do with the data protection regulation, because it is important and um, the consumers expect us to protect their privacy. It is a fundamental right of the EU citizens. Our voters expect it of us, um, and I believe also our companies do that. Thank you.